Hi, I'm Betty. Welcome to my kitchen. The recipe I want to share with you today is called Loaded Smashed Potatoes. No, there's no alcohol involved, although it does sound like it. These are a great snack or a side dish. I'm planning to make them for our Super Bowl party, which is coming up pretty soon. And the ingredients are quite simple. They involve some tiny red potatoes, some finely chopped uh, cheddar cheese, some chopped scallions, some crumbled crisp bacon, and some sour cream. So here we go. I've got my potatoes cooking on the stove. Let's go see if they're ready to be smashed. I'm just going to use a cake tester to make sure that these potatoes are fully cooked. And indeed they are. This goes in with no resistance at all. Now I'm going to take them over to the stove and over to the uh, sink rather and drain them. I'm going to drizzle some olive oil uh, in this little baking dish. I'm going to use a fair amount. I want these potatoes to be very crispy and sizzly and delicious. I'm just going to place them on the baking dish. And with my potato masher, just lean down on them and smash them like so. and give the tops a drizzle. I'm just going to sprinkle these with a little salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, for some reason, as simple as it is, seems to improve everything. Now I'm going to pop these into a 450 degree oven for about five to seven minutes or so, just until I see they've started to get brown and crispy. And then we'll add our toppings. These look nice and crispy, so I'm ready to add the first of my toppings. I'm just going to sprinkle on some of these chopped scallions. Just a few on each one. They're round, so they roll, and you know you're always going to lose a few, but that's okay. And then we'll add our cheddar cheese. Get as much on there as I can. There we go. And we're just going to pop these back in the oven for a minute or two to let that cheese melt. The cheese has melted beautifully. So I'm just ready to scoop these onto a serving dish. little extra cheese, we can pop that right on top. And they're ready for the final garnish of some crispy bacon bits and a dollop of sour cream. These were inspired by those loaded baked potato skins that you see but I find that these are easier. You don't have to bake a great big potato and then scoop, whoop, I forgot to put bacon on that one, um, and then scoop out the inside and wonder what to do with it. These are much easier to do and much quicker. So there. I hope this is a dish you'll think about if you're having a Super Bowl party or any time for a snack or a delicious side dish with almost anything. Enjoy.